Um, this is show and tell, but it's probably more tell than show. The show will be quite brief. Um, to cut a long story short, uh, I'm not a developer or anything, as you can probably tell from my laptop. It has to do Windows during the day. Um, but I really like Meteor. And Slava Kim, who is one of the um, devs, tweeted a few weeks ago, wouldn't it be good if there was a Twitter bot which tweeted about Meteor, uh, sorry, Meteorite packages, Atmosphere packages, which is the repository for uh, the, the community generated repository for packages um, which you can uh, use with Meteor. So I thought, yes, it would be cool. And that's probably actually not too difficult. Um, and then the weekend before last, I thought, well, I'll actually try to do it. Um, and this is the story of that attempt, which was, I'd say, largely successful. Anyway, here, it, here is it. Um, if I scroll down, you'll see that there are some useful tweets here, which it's been um, throwing out, like uh, new package, uh, AUUI modern business, no idea what that is. Um, it's also uh, been tweeting quite uh, uh, expressively when certain packages hit 100 downloads, 250 downloads, 1,000 downloads or whatever. It basically does what it says on the tin. Um, you'll also notice at the top there's an apology uh, and uh, a note that is actually down at the moment, and that's really as much the subject of what I want to say as how I built this. Really, what I was trying to solve was two fairly simple problems. The first one, how do I get access to the um, atmosphere repository information, which is a, a Meteor app? And secondly, how do I uh, tweet that? The second was, frankly, extremely easy to solve. There's a, a really good node package called TwitMaker, which makes it extremely easy to post to the Twitter endpoints and, and get from them and, and basically post on. Wouldn't you? It takes longer to set up your app and have it be able to have right access, um, which you have to do some mobile identification than it does to set up in your Meteor app. It's been packaged for Meteor quite nicely. That was really easy. The second problem was, how do I get the information from Atmosphere, which is a Meteor app. I built this in Meteor, by the way. I'm sure lots of people would say that's the wrong way, but A, it kind of seemed wrong to do it any other way. B, I don't know anything, so um, <laughs> it, that's all I could do. Um, so those are the two reasons I did that. Um, in terms of how do you get the information from uh, Atmosphere, well, it's actually quite easy, which I'll hopefully kind of pseudo live coding style demonstrate. If you just Google it, um, it appears to be extremely straightforward. This is, anybody that's familiar with Meteor will recognize this as a fairly kind of stock, um, uh, like a, a created Meteor app, which doesn't actually do anything, just provides access to the API. If you want to open a DDP subscription to um, a publication on a separate Meteor app. It is as simple as, uh, oops, oops. Uh, actually, when I say simple, it was simple when I wasn't actually talking in front of a bunch of people. We'll see if it still is simple um, as giving the URL. Uh, that's correct. I'm getting lower to see, not because I'm hiding from you. <laughs> Does that look all right? Um, at this point, uh, you have access to atmosphere.meteor.com. Some of you may think mm, that's not the right thing you want access to. We'll come to that in a second. Um, atmosphere.meteor.com as an application is open source, and it's all documented on, on GitHub. And so you can just have a look at the app and indeed the publications and, uh, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I've clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, the publications here and uh, find there's actually a really nice publication somewhere uh, called All Packages, which, as it would suggest, gives you access to all packages. So if I hopefully uh, very quickly create a, uh, new collection, which I pass the uh, remote connection I've just defined, and then subscribe, uh, just call it X for the time being. Uh, hopefully, at some stage in the relative near future, I will get ready will be true, or ready it is, and you'll see that uh, straight away. Uh, I've uh, just 
connected to uh, 1,474 packages, um, which are um, in the database, which is hosted on uh, atmosphere.meteor.com. That's brilliant. So this is the juncture, which took about two and a half hours, which I thought, awesome. I've basically solved it. That's brilliant. What then hap <laughs> happened, you always knew that was coming, is that I found a package which had 49, um, uh, it essentially wanted to test the fact that uh, when a package got to 50 downloads, it should tweet. So I found a package that had 49 downloads. I downloaded it. Nothing happened. I looked in the database. It still said 49 downloads. I thought, mm, maybe it takes a while to update. Went to atmosphere.meteor.com. It redirected me to atmosphere.js.com, which is the new atmosphere, where I saw that this package had 174 downloads. In actual fact, I was connecting to old information. The new atmosphere has a completely different API, is undocumented, and I then thought, that's what I really want. Can I work out a way of connecting to that even though it's undocumented? And I suppose the point of this talk, which is not what I originally intended it to be, is the fact that, yes, you absolutely can. I don't really want to talk about exactly how. I'm sure you could work, out, work it out yourselves if you really wanted to. Um, but this is something that I think people need to be aware of in their Meteor apps. There's a lot of focus on the fact that uh, it is Meteor secure. It's secure from a data perspective. Unless your app is poorly designed, then you can't access information. You can't write information, which the um, publisher of the app doesn't want you to. But you still have a huge amount of access to the resources that they're, they're running the back end. You can open 1,000 subscriptions, actually 1,474 subscriptions, as I did every 15 minutes, until Tom Coleman sent me an email and saying, can you stop doing that because it's not supposed to work like that? We will publish, it was very polite, we will publish uh, an API in version 0.9.0, but can you hold off on your Twitter bot until we've done that, which is why it's down for the time being. But it's still perfectly possible. Um, I think that this is, reading the Meteor Talk um, thread on Google, there's actually quite a lot to focus on this kind of stuff, the fact that there's going to have to be probably community-generated packages to control the amount of subscriptions, the uh, frequency of connections, stuff like that. Um, and I just wanted to make you aware it is incredibly easy, unless you take measures, which I'm not suggesting you do, to kind of obfuscate your publications, to connect in this way, even if, um, the, the, even if you've not documented your publications, somebody else can, A, take all the data they want, even if you want to kind of dole it out kind of step by step in your own way, they can just take it. And B, they can open loads, of, they, they basically you can get a kind of quasi DDoS attack where they open loads of connections or loads of subscriptions and it kills your server. You kind of need to be aware of that. I really hope that people don't misuse, it, be, you misuse this because obviously it's not in the spirit of anything. But if you're trying to build something that's production ready, it certainly kind of set alarm bells ringing for me and think I need a way of kind of, um, at the very least, testing for this. Kadira obviously is a great way of doing that. You'll be able to see straight away that something's wrong, but you also need a strategy to deal with it in case it happens again. So um, in hopefully the quite near future, please have a good look at, uh, well, please follow Meteorite P. If you're thinking at Atmosphere P would be a better handle. Yep, it would. I might change it. But there we are, at Meteorite P for the time being. Um, feel free to follow it. And hopefully in the near future, we'll be um, posting again about uh, uh, Atmosphere packages, which is going to be interesting. But in the meantime, just kind of bear in mind, it's effectively a wonderful API meteor and other people can use it to access all the information that you're publishing unless you're kind of quite careful with it.